In this video, I'm going to show you how to remote desktop connect from your local Mac computer to a remote Windows computer. And we're going to use the official Windows remote desktop application software to do this. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to go to our spotlight search and go to the app store. Inside the app store, we're going to look for, whoops, we're going to look for Windows remote desktop. And this is one we want, Windows Remote Desktop Work From Anywhere. Let's just take a look. It's from the Microsoft Corporation official software for this purpose. So we'll go ahead and download that and skip forward through this. Okay, so that is now installed on our computer. Let's go ahead and open it and get out of here. So this is what the interface looks like. So we can add a PC. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm assuming that you already have your credentials for your remote computer, but if you're looking for uh, hosting a Windows computer in the cloud, then I have videos specifically for that. You could do it as cheap as right around $15 a month. Um, so look down below for links for that, but I have my credentials here. So what I'm gonna do is put those in to this form. So. PC name, host name, or IP address. That is this right here. The user account, we can add a user account. So let's go ahead and add a user account. The username is administrator. And the password is this right here. Uh, you can add a friendly name. I'll just say um, admin for Windows. Okay, so we'll add that and we will add the entire PC. So you'll see that pop up in our layout. Um, what we want to do is right click and hit connect. So this is going to initiate that remote desktop connection to our remote Windows computer. Uh, you're connecting to the remote desktop protocol host this. The certificate couldn't be verified. Do you want to continue? Only continue if you trust the connection. I trust it so I will continue. It's going to secure that connection configuring remote PC and whoa, we went full screen. I don't even know if you guys can see this. Um, let me make this, I think you can, yeah. Let me get out of full screen mode. This is the window with our remote computer and you can see it is uh, much bigger than what we're working with here. So let's scale that down. How do we scale that down? So let's close out of here, go back here, right click edit and in the display option, um, we will fit session to window. So save that. Now we'll connect again, and I don't think that'll full screen anymore. Same thing as before, continue if you tr uh, trust the connection. And it did full screen. So um, let me try that one more time. Right click, edit, and display fit screen to window. I thought that would do it. Um, let's just make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it uh, 1920 by 1200. So we'll save that. And one last time, connect to the remote computer. Okay, so I think what's actually happening, I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, it is scaling to the size, which I, my mind slipped. Okay, so this is our remote computer. Um, we'll get out of here real quick. And now, in order for this to work, you have to have remote desktop connections enabled on the remote computer. So make sure you go through these steps first. I did this prior to the video. So uh, in your search, type remote desktop connection. And uh, I'm sorry, that's not what we wanna do. Strike two for you, Tony. Um, go to search, type in remote desktop settings right here and simply toggle on the enable remote desktop but, uh, switch. So prop, uh, that was probably a bad idea. No, I do not want to disable. So you might see this turned off in the beginning uh, before you do your remote connection, but you want to make sure that that is on and then you can connect through the steps that we did. One other thing you might need to consider under advanced settings is that uh, currently the remote desktop desktop port is 3398. So just make sure there's no firewall on your local computer or this remote Windows computer that's blocking any connections over that port. Otherwise, uh, that should give you what you need to do. If you want to find out more about making your own Windows server in the cloud, uh, check out this video here and I have some links about that in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.